Hi everyone, I'm Donna Louise and welcome to my YouTube channel for the love of puzzles. Today is the day that I finally continue working on Graphica's 6,000 piece vintage travel jigsaw puzzle. I've already done about two hours, 20 minutes or so of sorting and you can see the pieces are actually still outlined on the table here. I've assembled a few pieces, a bit of the border, a bit of the watch, but not a lot. I started to feel quite overwhelmed by it, all the browns and the beiges. I think it's going to be an actually, you know, actually quite a tricky jigsaw puzzle. The reason why I bought this was to complement what normally hangs here, my 5,000 piece beautiful antique world map by Ravensburger. But that one is still down at the jigsaw puzzle display and will be there until further notice. So I want to get cracking into this one as I want to glue it and have it professionally framed. Normally it was planned to go up on this wall, but now it'll go center stage on this wall once done. I realize it's a bit of an eye trick here. I'm actually sitting in a corner and you may not realize this, but look, there's a wall there and a wall there. Can you see my hands? Yeah, so I'm actually sitting in a corner. Um, I think it'll look lovely on the wall, but I have one concern, sorting the pieces. And maybe it's just me, and maybe I need to wait to see the whole image together. Some of them look blurry, and I'm worried that I'll get it assembled and I won't want to glue it and frame it. Let's hope that's not the case. Let's hope it's just because one piece has such small detail on it, I need to see the entire image together and that'll be actually lovely. Now it came in two bags, 3,000 pieces each. This is the first bag that I've cracked in. No, I'm not mixing the bags for a few reasons. One, I don't want to. Two, because I believe it'll most likely be a repeat cut pattern and the colors are all so, so similar, I just don't want to deal with perfect false fits. And three, I want to get it assembled rather quickly because it'll take some time to glue it and frame it because I'm tired of having my plain wall here in the background for all my videos and I'd love to get it up on the wall. So that's the reason why I didn't mix these bags. One thing that I've noticed already, some of the pieces are quite small. Like I think overall the pieces are smaller than even the Graphica 54,000 piece jigsaw puzzle I did, Travel Around Art. And I'll put up a photo to compare it to some other pieces. I believe I'm comparing them to like a Clementoni color boom jigsaw puzzle, if I remember well the photo that I took. Some feel similar in size, but others feel a lot smaller. However, I think there's going to be something to help me out. I have a feeling it looks like I'll be able to tell the direction of every piece, that they go, you know, tall wise. For those of you who puzzle a lot, you, you know what I mean. It's hard to explain, but I have a feeling I'll be able to tell the direction of pieces, which will help. But right now, I will admit, I'm just feeling a bit overwhelmed because of all the similar colors. So my plan for the rest of today is just finish the sorting and try to do the border. Now, normally, I don't necessarily do the border first. More often than not, I don't. But I'm trying to figure out which section of the jigsaw puzzle I'm doing. I have a feeling it's divided into this way and that way, and I'm working on this section over here, based on what I've seen so far. But that's why I want to get the border done first to really make sure I know where I'm working. For the image, it's a bit small for a 6,000 piece jigsaw puzzle. I wish it would have came with a poster that would have been really nice. I feel even 4,000 piece and up should have, hey, I would actually love a poster to come with every puzzle. If you can minimize the box and include a poster, I would like that. That's just me. But definitely 4,000 pieces and up, I'd really like to have a poster. So I just wish there was a poster included with this one. Fingers crossed that once I'm done this first section, I enjoy the image. It doesn't look blurry. It looks beautiful. And I'll want to continue with the second bag. Because I'll tell you right now, if I put this first bag together and I don't like the way it looks, one, I'll be gutted, so gutted. You have to make sure that the image is of a high enough resolution that when you blow it up, because I know they have a 1000 piece version of this jigsaw puzzle, you have to make sure that the quality continues or else it gets blurry, fuzzy, pixelated. So please, please, please be lovely. 
But if it's not, I probably won't crack into the second bag. I'll be gutted, I'll probably just pick it up, and then I'll have to find something else to go up on the wall. But let's hope it doesn't come to that. Fingers, toes, eyes, everything crossed. So, for now and for the love of puzzles, let's finish sorting and doing the border, and hopefully some building of Graphica's 6,000 piece vintage travel jigsaw puzzle. So I finished all the sorting and I must admit this was not the best sorting. The problem with starting to sort and not finishing the complete sort you end up, I couldn't remember what I put there, what I put there and, and everywhere. So I think I'm going to combine some sections. This pile is going to be combined with this darker pile here um, and I think these pieces I'm going to throw in there. I think these are part of the string the string that appears here I think that's what that is uh, I really don't know I think I did not do the best sort because I started it when I was sick now I have to put up close-ups if you can't see I will I'll overlay some photos this clock looks quite nice and sharp a slightly blurrier than what it appears on the box that doesn't seem to be the problem but for example down here as you see down here this appears so blurry to me like these are supposed to be nice lines of longitude and they're just so blurry and then I believe these pieces here that I'll pull out and I also I'll put up closer photos I believe it's these little ring parts along the nautical spyglass it appears the stuff that's further up the image is more in focus and the further you get down here it's more blurry so some of these look great and nice and sharp and I'm like, oh, that looks really good. But then other ones, I'm like, oh, that looks really quite blurry. What's going on? So I asked my hubby and he's like, yeah, some stuff looks really nice and focused and other parts look really blurry. And because this image is so much smaller than the actual puzzle size, you don't notice it as much. But I worry that this whole area down here might be quite blurry. Now I understand this is through the loop, sorry, the magnifying glass, that's the word in English, the loop. Um, when it's meant to be blurry there because that's enhanced. But the things are, I want to see this nice and clear, the boat. And this boat down here is on this corner down here and it looks so fuzzy, much more fuzzy than that. And I want to see this little thing in more detail. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to build more and then I'm gonna make a judgment call. My husband actually asked me if I was able to find these letters. And normally you think I would, but no, I haven't. I'm gonna build more. I'm gonna try to fill in some of the bottom. Uh, I don't know, I'll, I will build a bit more and then I'm gonna make a judgment call as to whether or not I'm going to complete it. Now I know you're probably wondering what's the big deal. The big deal is, let me throw some numbers at you. If I were to glue this, minimum at least $50 worth of glue, at least $50 worth of glue. The framing, I'm gonna estimate based on the antique world map that you see up there, prices have probably increased over the years, I say at least $800 New Zealand. So no, if I am not 100% satisfied with this image, basically I wanted it to look like this, just bigger, but if there's too much blurriness, It'll give me a headache while I, while I do it. My eyesight, I cannot deal with blurry image, out of focus image, any, any puzzle that's like that, I have so much trouble. But I'm not gonna spend all that money to glue and frame it if it's not, if it's not what I want it to be. 
So let's just crack on for a bit and see how I go. I'll probably pull out the GoPro because this is getting quite big. It might be too big for the area. We'll see what I do, but wish me luck. But like, I just don't get it. Some of it looks so nice in focus and some of it looks just so blurry and it's hard to decide right now. So I'm going to put a few more hours work and we'll make a judgment call. Oh, goodness me, oh my, this brown is really getting me down. That's all I got to say right now. But, but I mean, look, I love that image. I do. I love it. Okay. Well, let's just keep plugging along. We'll see how we go. So as you can see, I sorted, I built the frame, the border, and I started to build a little bit more. The clock looks actually quite nice. And I think I just wasn't ever really in the mood to start this jigsaw puzzle, no matter what. I just wasn't in the right frame of mind, whether it was because I was feeling unwell, whether because it's so big. So I spoke with my friend Valme and she's taking the puzzle. She's taking the puzzle and she wants to try to assemble it for me. And I thought, oh, thank you so much. So this is me packing up the jigsaw puzzle. I didn't want to ruin the work that I had done. And by the way, some of those pieces once put together, don't feel as blurry as the individual pieces. So I'm really hoping that once it's all together, it looks really lovely and nice. So I told Valme, I said, look, if you want to try, I'll be more than happy to pass this puzzle along to you. If you're not enjoying it, don't feel compelled that you have to finish it. And that's fine with me. Take as long as you want. And once it's done, she'll let me have a look at it. And if I feel that the image is of a quality or something that I enjoy, that I do want to glue and have professionally framed, then that's what I'll do. So I broke this up as best as possible. I don't know if she actually will use the pieces I assembled or if she'll just mix them all back in. I probably did the easiest parts to start to tell you the truth. But yeah, I laid everything as flat as possible in the bottom of the box. And then I separated everything that I had sorted and I put that in various, you know, reusable bags. And you can see that's what I'm doing here. And I just, again, want to thank Valme. She was like, perhaps you're trying to do too much. You know, you're, you're puzzling, you're doing the videos, you're not feeling well, you're doing large videos. Remember this puzzle? I loved it. The Ye Old Shop by Chiro Marchetti, so colorful, so bright. I use those boxes for sorting and using on larger piece count puzzles. And I thought, oh, you know what? I need more color. Let's just grab a jigsaw puzzle with color. And that's where I thought, well, I do have another Graphica jigsaw puzzle. So we'll put the vintage travel away, give it to Valme, and I pulled out this beautiful 1,000 piece Graphica jigsaw puzzle. It's from their art collection. It's called Fleurs et Papillons, which is flowers and butterflies. I can't remember off the top of my head the name of the artist, but I think I forgot to name the artist for the vintage travel jigsaw puzzle as well. So I'll pop those up on screen. So the artist for the vintage travel is, pop that up now. And then the artist for this one, Fleur et Papillon, I'll pop that up now as well. This was such a lovely puzzle. Now, what I found so interesting, the pieces are so different from this thousand count to the 6,000 count to the 54,000 piece count. All Graphica brand, but very different. These were nice size puzzle pieces, good size pieces, good thickness. The finish on them just beautiful a lovely matte finish absolutely loved it no excessive gloss sometimes it's just my lights and in the sections that they're whiter colors or brighter colors it may appear a bit shiny but really no no gloss at all beautiful pieces my only comment would be it is a perfect grid cut so it's hard to move you know, sections around because they come apart. The lines and rows and columns line up perfectly. But it's only a thousand pieces. Very much bearable. I loved it. They made me so happy. Now what you'll notice, the picture on the box is perhaps a bit small, but I was able to use it without a problem because it's such a colorful image with so much detail, definite lines, it really wasn't difficult whatsoever with the size of the image on the box. Also, you'll notice 
the right and left sides of the image are blurryish, which was a bit tricky for me, but not as difficult as most because it felt more like color blend, color gradient. There weren't definite items there. There were just blotches of color. So when I got to doing the left and right sides, I just focused on the blotches of color and they were quite distinct. And because there wasn't that many pieces, I'm not dealing with thousands and thousands of pieces of blurry color. It, it went quite quickly. You see, that's what I'm working on now. I left the big purple butterfly to the end because I thought it would be just, just nice to do. I, this made me so happy compared to all the brown from the vintage travel. But the funny thing is, I absolutely love that image in the vintage travel. So once again, I just have to say thank you so much to Valme for taking on the task of trying to do that jigsaw puzzle. I hope she enjoys it. If she doesn't, totally fine. I completely understand. I'll most likely then just try to sell it on to someone. But if it comes out as beautiful as I want it to be, I will definitely be gluing it and definitely be getting it framed. But in the meantime, look how beautiful this jigsaw puzzle. This was a complete joy to build. These Graphica 1000 piece jigsaw puzzle was absolutely lovely quality. Highly recommend. And this was just fun. I think I actually want to glue this one and put it up on the wall. I think it'll just make me smile whenever I see it. And I hope it makes you smile when you see it too. I hope everyone's doing well. My voice is, is getting there, it's coming back. Hopefully I don't sound too, too crook, like I have a frog in my throat. Look at that beautiful blue butterfly coming into the purpley pinkish butterfly. So lovely, just love the color and the detail in the background, the purples, the greens, this like peachy butterfly, just so cute. And the different flowers the nice pop of green. Oh, I loved it. Oh my goodness, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. For the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please consider subscribing. And until next time, ciao.